Welcome to my crib. Yeah, just hide. <laughs> oh, so excited for mom. No. No start, no trouble, no trouble. Trying to keep it. But this is where which, I'm hanging Which out. pillow have you gone for there, mate? Gone with the pink one. That's great. I've got water, because that's really important for recovery. My lovely husband has figured out how we can hack my pain medication, because we accident. What did we do, Dave? We overdosed on codeine a little bit early. So Al has a, a strict eight codeine per 24-hour rule and we've taken four in this afternoon so um we have a further four to last us until three o'clock tomorrow and you know what we're not going to be heroes around here for the first 24 hours we're gonna just take codeine and get through the pain because in my previous vlog my surgery vlog i was feeling great because the pain they do like localized and general anesthetic but now the localized anesthetic has worn off. So is the general. So I'm feeling things a lot more than what I was. I'm all alone now. Quarter past 10, day of surgery. So oh, 12 hours after surgery, probably. Um, and yeah, I am, I'm not, I'm not in pain. I'm just uncomfortable. My chest feels quite tight. And sore so I'm hoping that and it feels like it's quite swollen so I'm hoping that this gel pack helps I'm gonna see if I can stay awake for my next 10:40. yes so I'm gonna stay awake because I've only got like another 20 minutes in 20 minutes time I'm gonna take my coating and then hopefully fall asleep because I am tired <laughs> I'm so excited. Someone messaged me and said that they felt better within three weeks and they asked their surgeon if they could go back to the gym. Mm -hmm. And they do F45 as well. Awesome. Hope that's me. <laughs> oh, I really hope that's me. It is day one post-op now. Yesterday, well last night you guys saw me, that was my first night after surgery. And to be honest, there were times that I struggled, but it wasn't it wasn't unbearable at all. I thought it would be much harder than what it was. So it was okay. I just set my alarm for my coding based off of the chart that Dave, excuse me, that Dave kindly put together for me. Today's plan is just to take it easy. Later tonight, I'll be going to my parents' house for dinner. Dave's going to drop me to them with Charlie because I can't drive. I'm not supposed to drive for a week post-op. Um, and then other than that, we're just going to be taking it easy at home. I'm interested to see how I feel. Day one, and I was able to do my hair. Because look, I can move my arms. When I do that, I can like feel my boobs, but it's not painful, it's just a bit tight. The most pain, or well not pain, but the, the most uncomfortable feeling I had was actually in my sternum. My sternum felt really tight yesterday, last night, and I struggled as well to get comfy with um, in bed at times. So I stayed with that pink pillow, my big pink pillow, for most of the night, and then I switched just to pillows stacked on top of each other. And I'm not normally a back sleeper, but I stayed on my back last night and I managed to get a pretty decent sleep, so that's good. I would love some more sleep though. I have an appointment with my doctor. I have my first pre-op appointment tomorrow. Um, that was the only sort of uncomfortable thing at times. But I think it's just my body doing its natural thing, healing. I'm able to shower today. Um, my surgeon allows you to have a shower 24 hours post-op. But to be honest, I'm kind of okay with not showering today. I think I'll do that tomorrow before my appointment. Um, my incision wounds are just under 
my boobs here and I actually haven't even like looked at them but um, they feel fine so yeah I'll have a shower tomorrow and see what the situation is those should stay in place they're literally the only thing that's on my boobs right now are those I don't have any tape any bra and honestly like it's really com I think it might be more comfortable like that because people talk about the bras being super uncomfortable just um, to reiterate as well I'm following my surgeon's advice and my surgeon doesn't want me to wear a bra that's part of his post-op procedure and as one of his patients I'm following all of his advice and I recommend that you do the same with your surgeon whatever they tell you to do just do it because they want you to have the best results and they've got your best interests at heart so just just follow instructions but anyway I'll continue to update you guys through the day and let you know how it's going but day one so far it's going okay I'm getting out of the house Dave is driving me over to my parents' house for dinner. I can't drive for a, a week. One week. One week. You were saying though that you feel really tired. I'm exhausted and I haven't done anything. <laughs> I've had two days off work. Um, back to work tomorrow but working from home. Um, yeah, I'm just knackered. Do you have any advice for anyone else who's in your position and who's tasked with being a nurse to someone who's had this procedure done? Um... Yeah, plenty of sleep. <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess patience is a virtue. Your partner will be going through something that you're not, so you just have to be patient and understanding and all of that good stuff. I go straight. And, uh, yeah. Am just, I getting better though? Of course, you've always been fine. There's lots of little things that I found that I can't do that I'm sort of, oh, excuse me. Excuse you. What are you barking at? Like the Harrisons, curtains and blinds. What did they do to you, Charlie? <laughs> Nothing. There's lots of little things that I can't do, like um, clicking back on container lids and that kind of thing. Or yesterday I couldn't do the blinds and I couldn't um, close our sliding door to take Charlie out to the bathroom. So I have to ask Dave for help with those little things. So, But today I've been able to do more little things I couldn't do yesterday. So he's had to be super patient and like help me out with those kinds of things. <laughs> we made it we never let charlie sit on us when we're driving it's just he's climbed onto dave's lap because we're here so we let him do that but we honestly do not let him do this when we're driving you're a health and safety habit you are we made it thank you for dropping me no problem have a great dinner Dave's come to pick me up, me and Charlie up. Thank you for dinner. Not a problem. See you guys next time. Yeah. I'm home from my parents' house now, and Dave has helped me just like make the bed where I'm sleeping. And now he's gonna help me get all my pills sorted for the night. It's still bearable, I don't wanna scare anyone because it's actually not as bad. It's just, I feel a bit stiffer and a bit more sore and tender at night time. So I have my ice pack which I put on my chest and that really helps. I'm just referring to my pain chart. So I can have two Panadol now and then... Have you had your last antibiotic? Yeah. For the day? Cool. I have. And then I'm going to take the rest of my pain pills with me to bed and then set alarms for those throughout the night because I think that actually really helps. Oh. <clears throat> it is day two. Last night was a lot rougher than my first night. I did not feel like I got a good sleep. I felt very 
sore as well each time I woke up. I was able to get back to sleep, but yeah. They feel very sore this morning though. I think I might ice them. So anyway, I'm just going to be taking it easy today. Very, very easy and very, very slow. You coming in the car? Come on, let's go. We're now in the car because I'm heading to my specialist appointment to have, not my specialist, I'm heading to my surgeon to have my first pre-op appointment to check in and see how everything is. I still, let's see if I can do my own seatbelt today. Look at me. Look at your yoga. Own seatbelt. Oh wow. Yay. I mean, strong watch. Wow. It is so bright, sorry. But yeah, we're heading there yeah. to have a look at like my stitches, I guess, and everything. And I'm gonna talk to my surgeon about just like the pain. Today was definitely the worst pain-wise. Oh, thank you. Ah, that's better. Today was the worst pain-wise. Um, and just wanna check in and make sure that, yeah, everything's looking good and that he's happy with everything. Something I've been doing is writing down questions on my phone whenever I think of one that I want to ask my surgeon because it's really easy to forget when you're in these appointments because you're getting so much information. So I have my questions with me ready to ask and that's a really helpful tip just so that you don't forget anything. Um, it wasn't with the surgeon, it was with the nurse, but it was great. Checked my stitches, everything's good. She just changed the dressing. And my biggest drama right now is that I haven't pooped in a few days. So I need to go and get a more um, heavy duty natural laxative, which is what I'm off to do now. So we're just off to the pharmacy to get that, to get things moving again, because that's really important. Turns out I have the right laxative. I just need to up my dosage. So when I get home, and hopefully it gets things moving and drinking lots of water. I'm home now. I'm just making Dave and I some breakfast. I started to feel a bit sick in the car coming home because I think that's having the codeine on an empty stomach. Well, I've had coffee. I've had two coffees now. <laughs> the other thing that I'm about to do is have some laxatives. I know this is TMI, but you know what? This is real life. This is really what it's like. And I would want to know what it's like, so I'm telling you the actual experience. So today's mission, day two post-op, is to see how I go with my painkiller, if I can wean myself off of it, and also if I can get things moving again. In the afternoon, I've just been napping here on the couch. And I just woke up because I had to go to the bathroom. Yay! Yay, Charlie! Are we so excited? And I have been a real busy bee in the kitchen tonight. I've probably overdone it to be honest, but there's some things I can't do. Like I can't use the cheese grater. I can't cut the pizza like Dave's doing there with the pizza roller. That's all a little bit hard for me. But I was able to make up a batch of crackers and cookies and a salad. So I think I'm on the mean. Wonder Woman, eh? It's officially day three. I woke up this morning and it felt a bit rough. I was up a couple times throughout the night, but it wasn't as painful as day two. Day two, I think, was definitely my most painful. But today is Saturday and we are heading out for brunch to meet, meet some friends and go and have brunch. And I'm so excited to get out and about, be out of the house. One thing that I've done, so I'm wearing like regular clothes today. I've just been in like comfies at home. Gang's all here. 
We're heading out to meet some friends for brunch. Um, I had a coating before I left. Why did I do that? You just thought it would be helpful, just to like, no yeah, as well? I think it's better to keep on top of the pain meds, even if you're not in excruciating pain. At this early stage. At this early stage, yeah, just to kind of keep it moving along. Because, uh, yeah, I, I always used to be of the view that you only take pain medication if you really needed it. But we talked to the nurse about that and she said, no, it's better to just keep on top of it. Um, so we're gonna just park and like walk in to brunch. I'm so surprised actually how like good I feel considering I had surgery. And Dave and I were just talking about this. I think some of the things that really helped me with my quick recovery were number one, having a very experienced surgeon who knows what he's doing and does the least damage to your body because the more damage they do, the more you have to recover from in the surgery. The other thing was being as healthy as I could pre-op, so exercise getting as much sleep, staying hydrated, eating well, and also having a keto diet without, which is like said to be an anti-inflammatory diet pre-op because you're avoiding known foods that cause inflammation in the body like processed carbs, sugar, that kind of thing also has helped. And I've stayed keto post-op too. So I think, I think all those things are on our way. But yeah, we better get going. out shopping for how many hours would you say Ooh, three walking around for three hours I did take like little breaks and sit down and stuff where I could in stores but that is quite a lot of movement for day three I'd say yeah I'll like just potter around at home I do need like I said help from Dave with certain things because jars etc jars and tonight I'm making keto dumplings and I need his help to like roll out the dumpling dough and stuff like that so you're very handy to have around I gotta say but so far day three I would say is better than day two for me huh we're on the mend would you say I'm just getting better each yeah, day yeah yeah very mobile today I mean unless anything changes touch wood but yeah doing good it is now day four I didn't vlog any of yesterday because there was really nothing to update it was kind of just a normal day for me. I made dinner, um, Dave and I watched a movie, we hung out. I did get quite tired in the evening and like that was really it. That's kind of been my biggest side effect from the surgery is just feeling tired. After I've been active for a little bit, I kind of just am like wiped out and need to lie down, need to sit down, need to rest. I had my best sleep last night on day three of recovery. I slept completely through the night. I was in my bedroom, the recovery bedroom, that's what I'm calling it, the spare room, without Dave and Charlie, and I didn't wake up until 7 a.m., which doesn't normally happen to me normally. Normally, like, I'm awake at 5 a.m. or throughout the night to pee, but I just didn't. I just had, like, the best sleep. I'm feeling really good. I'm able to hold up the camera using my arm. Um, I'm kind of just so shocked at how well I'm recovering but I'm still remembering that I just had major surgery and I need to take it easy but honestly I'm feeling really good I haven't had any pain relief today so far I might have some Panadol but that's it like I think I'm done with the codeine I honestly was so nervous about recovery it was the thing that i was dreading the most i wanted the surgery i wanted to have the procedure done but i was petrified about recovery because i had watched so many people's experiences and so many experiences were quite negative to say the least um i've had total opposite experience i didn't feel nauseous when i woke up because of the anti-nausea drugs that they gave me um, during surgery so i didn't have that as a problem um, i just felt sore and tight but that's like totally to be expected i've had like full range of movements so i've been able to wear whatever clothes i want and not be limited to just like clothes that are easy to put on um, i'm feeling so good so i'll continue to update you guys as the weeks progress but change arms give that one a break um so far so good and if recovery is something that's putting you off from going and having a consult or considering getting this procedure done don't let it everyone's experience is totally unique to them don't dread it 
I now wish that I hadn't wasted that time and energy being like, sorry, Charlie's got the zoomies, being so nervous because it was so unnecessary. <laughs> um, my tips for getting prepared for surgery are literally just be the healthiest version of yourself that you can be before going into this. Make sure that you're working out, moving your body, you're eating healthy foods, avoid foods that are known to be inflammatory, so cut out processed carbs and sugars. You don't need them pre-op, you don't need them post-op, you'll feel so much better focusing on just wholesome, whole foods that are, well I've gone low carb, high fat, moderate protein, and it's been great. I have no no dramas from doing that and make sure you're getting lots of sleep trying to relax and de-stress yourself um, one thing was I thought that I had period dermatitis but I just want to update you on that it's gone like the day of my surgery it had completely gone and I'm wondering now if it was something that was stress related as opposed to actually that but we'll see I've still got my medication from my doctor but I haven't had to use it because it's cleared itself up. I just think I had a lot of anxiety and nervousness about the surgery itself, the recovery, like the recovery was the thing I was the most nervous about. And now that I'm through all that, like, I'm just feeling better and better. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful, particularly if it's something that you're interested in getting done or you're just curious about what to expect after a breast augmentation day one, two, and three. I'll continue to update this series as the weeks go on. I so appreciate you watching this video. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every week. I share keto recipes and blogs all about my lifestyle following keto and adhering to a healthy lifestyle. And if you did enjoy this video, I would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up because it supports my channel and that means so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye.